Hi everybody, welcome to SWIX Tech Talk for Alberta Alpine Newsletter. Uh, I'm Mitch Connor. I'm here today to show you how to uh, sharpen the sidewall of the ski, the sidewall edge of the ski. A uh, couple things that we go through first of all in order to prepare ourselves to do the sharpening. I'm going to use a good strong elastic band to pull the brake up and out of the way. The brake component itself should be tucked well enough away so it's not going to interfere with the sharpening process. The next thing that we're going to do is make sure that we're going to have our vices set up on a good sturdy table and I'm going to tighten them down so that the ski itself is nice and sturdy. It's not wobbling or moving around. I've got a bunch of tools set out here today to show you. <clears throat> I have a variety of stones. I'll talk about these stones first. Uh, these are our Swix uh, racing stones. Uh, great stone. If I can run them up and down my P-Tex base, it won't harm the base at all. They last a long, long time if you take care of them properly. Next, I'm using two file guides. I'm running this ski at 87 degrees. I've talked about that in previous uh, newsletters. So this is an 87 degree file guide. This file guide has got a nice chrome plate to it. So when you slide it up and down the base of the ski, it's not going to scar the, the structure or anything like that. So it's a really nice uh, um, uh, tool to use. This one, you need to use a clamp with. I brought another one today that comes with the clamp. And so you fumble with it a little bit, but once you get used to it, it works really well. Um, you're not having to look for a clamp and it reduces uh, tool space in your, your, um, your wax kit. So it's a nice little unit too. It too has a chrome plate to it and it's a lighter alloy, aluminum. Uh, the files that I'm using today, or the file that I'm using today, is a second cut chrome file. Um, this file, you can see there's an arrow that indicates the way that the file cuts, so that's also pretty handy. Um, last, second last, sorry, uh, this is my file cleaner. The file cleaner is a, a bronze, a soft bristle bronze brush. And it's really good because the harder uh, the bristles are, it can dull out your file. So we want something nice and soft to, to work with the file. The, the very last thing, <coughs> I use uh, a ceramic soft stones. Uh, we have a soft, we have a medium, and a hard stone. And I do use them all. First off, we'll start off, I'll, I'll, I'll use this uh, apparatus with, a, with the uh, clamp attached to it. I'm going to take some citrus solvent. I talked about this before. The citrus solvent is a natural fluid. It smells nice. Uh, it has a nice lubricant to it. And it brings out a nice shine, really cleans up the stone. So from that, I can take the stone, place it in my file guide. So it's like so. So today I'm going to start <coughs> with the tip to the tail, but you can sharpen tail to tip. You're going to have to do that to be actually. So from here, I'm going to start at the very contact point and, and with good pressure, I'm going to work the edge with good pressure both back and forth. The stone will cut both ways. <coughs> what I'm doing at this process is I'm actually, I'm softening up the edge getting rid of the, any case hardening. I'm also getting rid of any burrs that I might have occurred while skiing. You can do a couple passes there. So this was done with a 100 grit stone or an extra coarse Swix stone. From that, I always like to take a pass with my brush, just sweep off any remnants from that. We want to keep the sidewall nice and clean. I'm going to start with my, with my second cut chrome file. These chrome files are rust resistant and they're very, very durable. You, one file should last you a full season. So this was my clamp device, 87 degrees. The arrows pointed towards me. This process with the file, I'm going to do in three steps. The first step is I'm going to be very aggressive. I'm going to use three-inch overlap. But this time when I pull towards me, I'm pulling with pressure. 
As I release, I don't want pressure on the file. I just, just kind of move it forward without pressure. So looking right down at the edge with good pressure here, about three inch overlaps. Take your brush, get rid of any files that might be laying around, just turn the file over, clamp it down. Second pass, we're going to do about six inch overlaps. Now we have to clean that file. I've used both sides. So with my cleaning device, soft bristle brass, just clean both sides of that file. Clamp it down again. Last pass. Just nice, clean overlaps. Basically just trying to clean up the work that you did. Finished. One thing I find people, racers, uh, high performance skiers, when they're sharpening their skis, I find that they, they over file. Uh, I really like using the stones, preferably, more often than filing. It saves the life of your edge throughout the course of the season. So I'm going to move away from the coarse stones. I, I actually have an extra coarse and a coarse stone here. So that would be a 100, 200 grit. And I'm going to move now into a, to a finer stone. Uh, the fine stones now are going to actually harden up the edge and make the edge more durable or more resilient for a full day of training or racing. The harder you can get that edge, the better it's, that process is going to be. So I got some nice citrus solvent on that. I'm going to take my, my clamp, 87 degree file guide. And now from here, I, I go back to that process where I can actually put pressure both directions, but very aggressively, almost like shining a shoe. We're trying to shine up that edge and just get that, that edge to really pop. do a couple passes here. I'd like to move that stone around so I'm getting a cleaner part of the stone and just a net couple longer strokes. Finish that. I can carry on. I can move into a 600 or 1000 grit. It's, uh, it's all up to you and how much time you have. The last thing I'm going to do, and this is this is uh, based on kind of skill level. Uh, the younger kids, some people like to detune a little bit at the tip and a little bit at the tail. I prefer to have my skis sharp tip to tail and that's the, the, the best way for, for high skill level, that's the very best way. But you can use your gummy stone for that. These stones have ceramic in them. But what they're really good for, if you look at the edge itself, the bottom side of the edge, the edge that touches the snow, and the top side of the edge, this top side of the edge, I like to take that stone and just kind of clean it up a little bit in there. I really like my sidewalls to run smooth. And because there's ceramic in these stones, they're a little gritty and they really will take off a little bit of that and make that sidewall nice and smooth. Until next week, I'm going to show you the Evo Edger next. Bye-bye.